Okay. We've got up to the height of 36,000 feet. Now we're going back down to land. So, on, off. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are in Malaysia. <laughs> Hi. So, we've arrived now, second destination, or third if you include the London visit. We're in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We've arrived at the hotel. We're on floor 13. Well, I'm going to go down and have a look at the gym while we're waiting for them to bring our bags up. They have a gym and a swimming pool floor, floor 3. I'm level 3 with a swimming pool, infinity pool. Uh, as you can see, it goes up to there. It's a bit of a spa, it looks like. Yeah, a spa pool down here. But inside we have the gym. Let me go and have a look in the gym. So we've got a couple of cardio machines for bike, cross training, running. It's a little bit of a shaded area. It's our first bit out of the hotel on the first day in Kuala Lumpur. We've just got a taxi to Titi Wangsa Lake Gardens. Pretty much when we walk around the lake, it's going to give us a view of the uh, Twin Towers and a better view, basically. But I'm telling you something. I thought Singapore was hot. This feels double, double hot. It's a lot cheaper than Singapore. That's for sure. So we'll go around the lake. We're going to maybe try and get a drone up in the air um, and just have a look around. Stay tuned. Like going back in time in England here with these remind me of when I was a little boy in Blackpool bikes you can rent to go around the park okay we've been to the lake it's another busy day of walking around town and getting around town by taxi now we've come to the Minera uh, Tower which we're going to visit in a minute. Check it out. There it is. That is one bad boy. Okay, so before we go up this tower, or go to the tower, we're going to go into a place called Echo Park, which is like, it's a jungle um, within the city. So, and it's got a bridge across the middle, which if you've ever looked at anything of Kuala Lumpur, you've probably seen it. So we're going to go in there. We'll show you what it's all about in a minute. Happy days. pretty cool like it's like one of them adventure grounds you know it's different but this is getting bitten coming across the bridge it's very humid very hot close a bit drier than a rainforest but and I don't know what's going on down here but there's a lot of drums happening Lost in the jungle. On our way back now, so we can go up the tower. We can't figure out where them drums are coming from, but they're definitely jungle drums. Jungle visit done, coffee break finished. Now it's time for the tower. We are going to the top, right to the top. The reason we are going to the top is to get the best views 
in Kuala Lumpur. In fact, although you've got the Petrona Towers, which are world famous, this is a better sightseeing view of the whole of Kuala Lumpur than those Petronas Towers. Bye! <laughs> Hello, we've made it. We're at the top of the Minara um, Tower, the KL Tower, Kuala Lumpur. There's your um, Patronus. I'm going to show you around and let you have a look. And this tower here is soon to be the tallest tower in Kuala Lumpur. That's where we were today, at the lake that you've seen earlier. A national monument for the communist battle, or the battle against the communists. This is dedicated to the fighters in the battle against the communists. Okay, it's brunch time and then we're stopping for a coconut with some bananas that we bought and Desi has <laughs> an omelette. Uh, this costs eight ringgits, like one pound fifty. We drink the juice. And then you can scrape out the coconut and eat the coconut. <laughs> now, if the um, coconut is young, it's a lot softer and easier to cut. So the man has cut my coconut in half, so we can just. Claw it out and eat it. It's good. Today, what we've done, we have hired a taxi driver because we're only here for a few days. So to take us around some of the hot spots in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Um, hot spots being not the operative word. Although, he's just brought us to uh, a natural kind of spa of hot waters. All local people come here to have their baths, so I'm told. So it's like a, a natural springs. I'm not kidding you, you sit there and put your feet in, and that is really hot. It's actually that hot that it's, in play, it's starting to bubble. So it's actually boiling. And now this, you can see the steam coming off. And I mean, don't get me wrong, the climate out here is hot anyway. It's very hot standing here. But that water is bubbling, it's starting to boil. And the man has just told me that we can swim in it. And there's no way that I'll be swimming in that because I'll be coming out. Well, I won't be coming out, I'll be cooked. I don't think you can, you can go inside, no? It's so hot. And before we came here, he said to me, a lot of older people come here for their wash. They come here and bathe. And here we go, but they're swimming. And you can put a saucepan on your head, like that man. That woman is just floating. You know what, I know somebody that can float in water like that. This person. <laughs> yes, I would like that in winter. It has to be really nice. Actually steaming. 
So the natural hot baths of Kuala Lumpur. So another stop on uh, our daily taxi trip is Templar Park. There's lots of little monkeys here which I'll show you and the waterfalls in Kuala Lumpur. And these little bad boys are running around free and wild. They're over there playing on the grass. Maybe they bite you. Six finger rolls to feed to the monkeys at the waterfalls. Apparently, they like bread. <laughs> They are following you because the bread. Because I have a banana. Oh, banana! Yeah. Oh. Are you the bad one? Mine you're not. You're not. Yeah. Oh my God! The bread's green. Oh, it's probably Malik. Paul is crazy, he's feeding the monkeys like crazy. Be careful, babe, with... They tell you about monkeys, robbers and different things. We've kind of escaped the monkeys for this bit, although they're still over here because they're over on that bridge, as you can see, they're everywhere. But they started following up and um, trying to rob the bread out of my hand. So we've moved a bit quicker. I've got a whole trail of monkeys following me. Now we've reached the summit of that walk and it's a lot cooler, there's a breeze coming down and it's obviously from this. Okay, we've come from the waterfalls and now we're at Batu Caves, Kuala Lumpur. You can see the um, big Buddha behind me. We've just got to take a walk up these crazy stairs. More than 200 steps. The stairman that runs up these is not running today. When we get to the top, there's a temple in there, in the caves. Cave temple! So we're going to go up to the caves, have a look around, let's show you what's going on. But I have noticed wandering around here more of them monkeys. Whether they've followed us or whether they live here, we don't know, but they're here. That monkey has just robbed them people there of their bananas. And I mean just robbed them. Literally went up to them, snatched them out of the lady's bag. Well, you can see there, the guy, not the lady. The guy has a red piece of plastic in his hand, you can see under the black jacket and that monkey just went and took the lot. So it's a big monkey though. I think Paul is going to run on his stairs. A lot of this up here in the cave is under construction. The cave is, seems better than the temple, in my opinion. Okay, 
last stop of our uh, taxi ride for the day all round to the places. We are now in a place called Kampumbaru. It's a traditional local village, so but it's more orientated for um, food restaurants, if you, we wish to call them restaurants, because it's kind of street food under roof. But yeah, so let's uh, have a look and show you some of um, Kampumbaru and some of its local life and people. I am happy with that. I, I only wanted to, I wanted to see the red crab. Mm, I think maybe go back. There's a lot of these. Most of Porridge house. So now we are trying some traditional Malaysian food. Which is blue rice. Really blue. Mixed with, this powder is fish some salad on there um, it's just a mixture so we've got to try it and we've got some more um, fish and meat coming up this is Desi's Malaysian fish dish we've come out tonight to the heli bar it's a rooftop bar where we've got great night views of the Petronas Towers in front of you there the Menara Tower KL Tower it's basically good nighttime views over the whole of the city of Kuala Lumpur um, firstly something you need to remember you can only come here after nine o'clock as a man if you are wearing trousers not shorts whether you're wearing nice shorts or expensive shorts it doesn't matter if you're a guy you can't wear shorts if you do wear shorts, which I did, what they will do is offer you a pair of their trousers, which to be honest, they're not bad, but they've got their logo written on them and you have to leave a $50 deposit. And you get a pair of these. Other than that, you've got fantastic views. Downstairs, it's uh, it's a nice venue. Here we have some late night street food, pretty much the after the pub street food where you'd go to a burger van in the UK. What you get is this little run around van here, things like liver, sausages, cheese, a very wide variety and basically what they have is different coloured sticks, these different prices. So there's your price list. Um, the black sticks, 60 pence. And this is where the dude cooks it. You either fry it, you can cover it in flour, which is in the middle there. You can grill it on a barbecue. There's a lot more food there, including like chicken kebabs, pork kebabs, sticks, squid. And if you don't want to barbecue it, you can boil it or steam it. Salmon balls, fish balls, spicy sausages, chicken, tofu, corn balls, crab sticks. All of these things. Now, if you're like us, and you're from a foreign land, then he'll do it all for you. But if you're local, like these dudes, they do it themselves and then they're just paying. The last visit of Kuala Lumpur, the Petronas buildings before we head home. Well, not home actually, before we head to Bali. This is inside the Petronas Towers. Formula One, hence the Patronus. The 
it's a shopping mall. We've seen hundreds of these places. They're all the same. So this will be the bridge in between the two towers. When you look from the outside there's a joining link and obviously that we are stood pretty much in the middle of the two towers. So now this is the end of Kuala Lumpur. We've come into the airport, we went upstairs to the food court which I didn't film but it was amazing compared to English food courts and a fraction of the cost. Uh, we say now to goodbye to Kuala Lumpur. Mm, not a bad trip, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget, subscribe if you haven't already, please. And leave some comments or some ideas. And we're going to be boarding the plane to Bali. So stay on to the next vlog and I'll see you on the other side. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>